So hi guys, this is your quiz video explanations for the optics part one, right? So some of the questions you were having doubt in, I think the very first question was also creating a fuss. Number one is that at 20 feet, the smallest letters that a child can read. What is the smallest one? It is 20 by 60. Now you have the child walk towards the eye chart. How far does she walk before she can see 20 by 20? So it's very simple. What you have to do is, see, here the visual acuity of this child, the visual acuity of this child is 20 by 60, okay? And you know that uh, the normal visual acuity is actually 20 by 20. So I can say that the visual acuity of this child is actually one third of the normal. So if this child wants to see the line which is seen by a normal person at six meters, the distance should be also one third. So distance will be one third of the normal. And what is normal? Normal is 20 feet. So one third will be approximately seven feet so how much anteriorly the person has to go because the child is standing at 20 feet and she has to go at 7 feet. So it will be 20 minus 7. So this will come to about 13 feet. So this child has to come 13 feet anteriorly or forward in order to see that normal visual acuity line. So I hope now it's clear. Therefore, the answer to this question will be 13 feet. Okay. Now, number two is the instrument shown in the image. This instrument is actually the astigmatic fan. And uh, astigmatic fan is actually used for the refinement of the cylindrical correction. Nowadays, what we are using is the Jackson cross cylinders. But anyway, if you are seeing this, this is... <coughs> Astigmatic fan and astigmatic fan is used for the refinement of the cylindrical corrections. Number three, infant in the image is most likely suffering from. So this is actually the patching that we are using and uh, in the patching actually uh, we, what we are doing is we are actually trying to preserve the amblyopia, uh, to treat the amblyopia. So what is the most common squint that is present in the infants? It is the infantile esotropia, which is actually due to the overaction of the inferior oblique, which is actually occurring due to the overaction of inferior oblique. Therefore, answer to this question is essential infantile esotropia. Number four, the following complications can be seen in the patient with this fundus image. What are the things that you can see? This is your myopic crescent, right? Then uh, this is the posterior stephyloma. This is the posterior stephyloma. So I can see that this patient is having the pathological myopia. So if this patient is having pathological myopia, what are the complications? Number one is rigmatogenous retinal detachment, yes. Vitreous hemorrhage, yes. Retinoschisis, yes, we can have. But we will not have the angle closure glaucoma. This person will have more chances of primary open angle glaucoma and not the angle closure glaucoma, right? Next is focal length of 0 0.25 meter power. So it is 1 upon the power focal length will be 1 upon power so it will be 1 upon 0 0.25 this will give me 100 by 25 therefore the answer will be the four diopters then uh, next is your anisoconia anisoconia is a difference in the is in the size of the image formed by both the eyes this is anisoconia difference in the axial length of the eyeball difference in the size of the cornea difference in the size of the pupil this is actually called as the anisocoria while uh, we have got one more thing which is called as the n isometropia n isometropia is the difference in the difference in the refractive power of the both eyes difference in the refractive power of both the eyes is called as n isometropia difference in the size of images is actually n isochoria uh, uh, the size of the pupil is n isochoria and difference in the size of the images is actually n isoconia then we have got uh, a 30 year old man who 
इज हैविंग अ विजन ऑफ सिक्स बाय फाइव विजन हि सैक्लोप्लेजिक रेटिनोस्कोपी इज प्लस वन डायोप्टर विच इज एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ वन मीटर हिज कंप्लेन आर ब्लरिंग ऑफ द न्यूज प्रिंट एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ थर्टी सेंटीमीटर सो इफ देर इज अ ब्लरिंग ऑफ न्यूज प्रिंट एट थर्टी सेंटीमीटर वी कैन थिंक अबाउट दैट देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम इन अकोमोडेशन राइट बट दे आर सेंग दैट दिस इज क्लियरिंग अप इन टू मिनट्स सो इफ देर इज अ ब्लरिंग ऑफ द नियर थिंग बट इट इज क्लियरिंग अप इन टू मिनट्स देन इट कैन नॉट बी हाइपर मेट्रोपिया इट कैन नॉट बी प्रेस बायोपिया बिकॉज इफ इट इज प्रेस बायो or if it is hypermetropia this will not clear up by itself now why it can be cycloplegia plegia means already palsy if it is already palsy then again it will not clear up in 2 minutes so only thing that is left is your accommodative inertia next question a 10 year old boy complains of headache his best corrected visual acuity one eye 6 by 36 another eye 6 by 6 and retinoscopy shows plus 5 diopters and plus 1 diopter so you have got lot of difference in the refractive power so in the previous question i was talking about that uh, we were having the n isometropia there is a difference of the refractive power in both the eyes lot of difference is there plus 5 and plus 1 so this anisometropia can lead to the amblyopia so basically the best answer to this question is an isometropic amblyopia the person is having so what is the possible all the other ocular examination is normal so that means we are having just the amblyopia lazy eye is there so the best possible answer is amblyopia what type of amblyopia an isometropic amblyopia next question all are true about press biopia except i think this is very clear cut obviously press biopia is not common in young patients it is after the age of 40 years that you are getting the press biopia so answer is a not able to see the near objects obviously it is true And then uh, next is spectacles having unifocal or bifocal lenses should be used yes we are using unifocal means separately you can use or we can use bifocals trifocals multifocals so many options are there correction of refractive error obviously should be done first for the distance vision otherwise you will end up in over correction of press biopia so answer is a about the degenerative myopia which of the following is true number 1 myopic degeneration can lead to retinal detachment this is obviously true myopic degeneration can lead to which type of uh, retinal detachment it is rrd number 2 it is more common in men than women so there is nothing like this it is less than minus 6 this is wrong it will be more than minus 6 optic disc swelling no we do not have any optic disc swelling in cases of the degenerative myopia degenerative myopia or the pathological myopia also called as a high myopia which is occurring due to the overstretching of the eyeball there you have the fossa fuge spots you have lacquer cracks you have got uh, the posterior stephyloma we have got the uh, more chances of regmatogenous retinal detachment with we have vitreous degeneration leading to floaters right but we do not have the optic disc swelling and there are no more chances in males as comparison to the females so this is your optics quiz i hope you have understood for any uh, of the confusions you can always message me on my telegram group direct message you can follow me on insta and be a part of our great family telegram group as well as the facebook group Thank you and happy of thermology